so it is Saturday today um and my house is a mess look at this oh my god it was so clean so let me update you on what has happened so far with the house because I don't think I think that the vlogs I've been putting up um have not fully addressed the nightmare <laughs> last Monday we had somebody put an offer on the house and we did the whole like back and forth with the um, counters and you know, they offered one thing and we said, no, we will do this and da 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 da. When someone puts an offer down when you're selling your house, um, you have to fill out what is called a, hi bub. Here's bub. You have to fill out what is called like a disclosure form. So you basically have to like disclose if there's been any problems, you know, like roof leaks or bugs or like anything like that. So I had to disclose um, when I had bought my house before, there, uh, they did an inspection and there was evidence of termites. So the previous owner had to buy, um, had to get a termite person to come out and pay for it to be fixed and then they treated where the termites were and it's under warranty and it's still under warranty so I had to disclose that and then I had to disclose the whole scorpion thing and I I mean I put that you know there's been treatment for that too and I've n I have not seen one scorpion since they did the treatment so I had to disclose those things and so the next day was when the inspection guy was supposed to come because you're supposed to have an inspection guy after or be between the first 10 days of after you signed the contract and I'm waiting and waiting and waiting and the guy never shows up so I text my realtor and I'm like did I get the times wrong what's going on and she she goes let me find out and then she texts me it's like oh buyer is canceling termites freaked him out so I was like oh, okay um Okay, and then she texts me back that he buyer hasn't officially canceled, wants to know about the scorpions, blah, blah, blah. And I got them a letter that said this treatment I had and this, this, this. And then the next day at about 9.30 in the morning, I was barely even awake and some guy knocks on the door, continues knocking, continues knocking. Leia's inside, so Leia's freaking out barking. And this guy's like, oh... I'm here for a termite inspection. I thought this was a vacant house. And <laughs> I text my realtor and she's like, I am so sorry, I had no idea. She makes, you know, she talks to the termite guy on the phone. He was really nice, but I mean, I, I'm like, are you kidding me? You, these people did not tell me that they were sending someone over to do a termite inspection. It really kind of really, really bothered me. Um, and it's just, there's been a lot of things that this particular buyer is just, has made me really nervous that if they didn't cancel the contract that farther down the road and be closer to closing and then they would just go, nope, not going to do it and change their mind, which would be not so great. Um, so anyways, after the termite guy came, they decided they did want to cancel because of termite and scorpion problem. And I don't know if there's termites. I don't think there are. I haven't heard back from my realtor she was gonna find out if the guy had seen termite damage um, but the thing is is this house is under warranty still so it's like if there is termite damage then I just call the the people who did it last time and then they will come out and fix it and like I, I get the termites are not like they're pretty serious business or not something to just be like Meh. so anyways they did decide to cancel and I'm kind of happy about it because they were just really difficult and now what we've decided to do, because before we were going to do a dual closing, which means that we would be moving into the new house and closing on this house pretty much on the same day, and then we would have two, two days to move out of here. What I decided to do is just take this house off the market because it's too stressful for me to deal with showing the house and packing it and having it look spotless while packing it and worrying about my cats getting out because my cats are back because I thought that this was all done and they're just, I just don't want to deal with it and I don't have to. So what we're going to do is pack all of this stuff up, hopefully get the moving date for the new house moved up because they moved it back because we thought we were doing a dual close. Um, get that moved up 
and then move in sooner with the house not on the market and then once the house is completely empty and nothing is here then put it on the market and I know that a house shows better when you have stuff in it but I don't even care I saw this house and liked it when nothing was in it someone else will and that was almost six minutes of me talking about this stuff so I'm sorry if you totally didn't care but I just know I haven't been updating you guys regularly on that and I did want to make sure you knew what was going on with that because it's a just a nightmare <laughs> Chelsea did all of this and Chelsea did all this stuff in the kitchen too she she did a ton Chelsea's really good at packing and she's going back she's on spring break right now she's going back tomorrow and I wanted to make sure I at least got her for a little bit because we're probably going to move before she comes back from school so I wanted to make sure I used her services because <laughs> she's really good at packing stuff and I'm absolutely terrible at it so there's that um Leia is at my mom's every time my mom comes over she takes Leia she loves they love Leia so I gotta go pick up Leia she had a sleepover and then I think I'm gonna just try and get some videos filmed today Paul's working um a 10-hour shift at his store Maybe I'll pack this. The uh, bookshelf right here is, is pretty full of stuff that is kind of not needed anywhere. So maybe I will be slightly useful in that aspect. Hi! Did you stay the night here? Did you have fun? Did you get lots of treats? Uh -uh. Did you get to go outside? <laughs> Why do you look so sad? Why do you look so sad? So I had bought um, some stuff from Beyond the Rack because they had some baby stuff on sale and I couldn't help myself. Um, and I had them sent to my parents' house because I didn't know when they would get here because sometimes Beyond the Rack takes a long time. I'll show you guys. got this one. This is this onesie and it has the headband and like the little feet with the, the, uh, the feeties. I got this one, which is the same thing but cherries. And then there's like a little tutu. Probably fold the little feet. You could probably fold their feet in here. Yeah. You could probably put these over so it covers their feet. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah. Okay, so it's kind of giving you the option. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then this one has a skirt too. And then this is more strawberries. And it has a bib. And then it's got pants. And so freaking cute. And then this is, um, oh, that one is adorable. Little romper with the elephant. Um, gosh, I bought a lot of strawberry stuff. This is the thing. Cupcakes. <laughs> cupcakes. Oh, is this, this is a cupcake. Just kidding. So this is a cupcake with little frilly pants. With the... With the bib. And then I got this, which is for newborns in the car seat. Oh, one more. So they fit, but they can fit. Oh, yeah, and then one more, which is another romper, and it's got the cupcake on it. So cute. Baby clothes are dangerous. But who's holding the camera? Da, 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 da. Yo, what up, YouTube? What we're doing right now, we're cruising down Ray Road in Chandler, Arizona, heading towards Rubio's. Trying to get on that fish taco life. You know about that fish taco life. Absolutely delicious. They do it right, they do it tight. Uh, delicious meal. Just got some skrilla from my dad. Uh, he's gonna hook us <laughs> up fat. It's gonna be delicious. I can't wait. Love oh Rubio's. We'll check back in after we get it. Yo, YouTube. I'll see you fudging later. That's right, what you're seeing right now on the camera as Alicia's about to get into a car accident okay, and she waves sorry. and says, sorry, but thank you. <laughs> what you see on the camera, that's right, Rubio's, we got the goods, yo. We got the good stuff, that good sticky icky, you know what I'm talking about, that fish burrito, that salmon burrito and those fish tacos, exactly what we're looking for. Can't wait to get back home, munch on it. It's gonna be good, I can't wait. Alicia, how you feeling? Turn up. I got fish tacos, they're hidden apparently. Is it good? Is it on? Yes. Yeah, you know, it's good. It's <laughs> Chelsea's bragging about my car to Mark. So Chelsea loves Bahama Bucks, and they just opened one by my house Extra that's crazy. huge. This line is so big. Oh. Huge. We maybe should just go through the drive through Oh my god, is that how long the line is? I don't know, but I kind of don't want to deal with that. Oh. <laughs> Are we doing drive through Yeah. Alright, drive through Tiger's blood sounds like it'd be like Mike Tyson. There's so many flavors. Where the frick are all my punch cards? Oh, I found one. Um. Oh, yeah! Woohoo! 
Chelsea's getting a free food. Bahama Cosby. Ooh, maybe I'll get a smoothie instead. Funky monkey. Um, Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna JK get a smoothie. That sounds that really good. Monkey. Chelsea just asked if this was a double wheeler bike. And then they can see it from my perspective. Here, hand me the camera. A double side. wheeler bike. Mark, move. I saw, bike. all I saw was this. I just saw two wheels like that. I and think that's pretty. I still thought it was a double wheeler. I thought it was a double wheeler. Okay, Never now they. heard of a double wheeler. Um, those are the kind of road bikes that you like sit back on and like lounge. What are you talking about? They give you like legit color. They, and they give you, wow. and they they give you like, the, the color and they changing. They give you the umbrellas. They give you the color changing uh, things. Spoons. Spoons, yes. At the other one, they charge you 50 cents for those. I got this smoothie. Or Mark got it for the baby. She's going to drink it. Yes. In amniotic fluid style. Oh my god, I can't <laughs> believe that. <laughs> she was like, this guy's a jackass. <laughs> Somebody bit the styrofoam. And it wasn't Mark. <laughs> what? I'm never going to. I thought you were just really hungry and took a bite. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. That is revenge. What did I do? <laughs> you I didn't was, roll down your window fast enough. I was nothing but kind. I was just getting ready because I guess Chelsea's going back home tomorrow. I guess we're going out to dinner and like this has just been a day of food apparently. And I'm going to put on the dress and, oh, do you see this? My cat, Bub, has Pika. And I th always think, I always think that it's better. And then I see this stuff. So, needless to say, I need to really be better about closing my closet because she's a sneaky ninja and I never, never ever see her eating clothes and then I find this and this was hung up so I'm not even sure how she went about that so that's cool she actually just ran out of the closet um and I saw her and I see um where is it this one she was eating this too this is another one of my maternity dresses she has she definitely has a preference and it's stretchy like jersey knit so she's eating that and then the other piece of it I mean that's a lot the hem look that's crazy so like look at that this down here is the hem oh my god okay so I'm just getting to the restaurant we're going to Roy's every time this song comes on it makes me look at my brother and a Stephen Colbert. I just like, like every time I hear it, I don't even know if you guys see me, but I'm just like, doing like the dance. <laughs> I love it. Look, it's no. Gil. What? That's his name, right? Is it Gil? I, I didn't pay attention. I don't know, I love aquariums. I think those are so cool. So I was going to vlog That's about these, uh, the edamame they gave, but apparently, they're about basically gone. Well, you can get another another dish. We might, yeah, we might need more. They have some spice on them that's really, really good. It's, um, it's not just red pepper. No, but there's sesame in there. There's it's garlic good. in there. It's really good. I don't usually like edamame as much as I like this one. We had to get more. Oh, that macro. So good. This is the canoe for two. This is an appetizer for two people. I can't imagine eating all the... If we got the canoe for four, <laughs> yeah, that'd be that wouldn't have been a good idea. I thought, and everyone would have one of each. I wish I could eat this, but I cannot. It would have been oh good. yeah, sad day. So which can Alicia eat? I could eat this and that, this. That, okay, well, that and that and that. Then you take what you need. <laughs> this place is too fancy. They give you napkins based on what color clothing you're wearing, and they gave us a hot towel. Hot towel for, for the, two, the for the two ribs, ribs we got. The two the two sections of ribs. But that's fine, I'm using it. Uh, bon appetit. <laughs> so we just got food. Me and mom got uh, a Ma mahi -mahi. macadamia nut crusted mahi mahi. Chelsea got um, avocado, something spicy, something spicy, butter sauce, crispy, something. <laughs> and what did you get, Faj? And Faj got the spicy hot pot. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 
Hodge vlogs. <laughs> here's here's the dessert. I wanted this because it's it's like a, it's like a lava cake. But I think nobody else wanted this, so I think this is just for me. There was an option for a pineapple upside down cake with rum syrup and what else was on it? Toasted coconut on it. Like, sorry, I wanted this. I don't know if it has it in it, does it? Oh, I thought it was um, it no, no, it does, but it's not like a yolk of an egg. Oh, there it is. Look at. <laughs> oh my god, that smells so good. So Paul couldn't come to dinner because he had to work forever. But look what he's downloaded that he's finally going to watch. We didn't get to watch it last time because there was something wrong with it and it wouldn't play. And then he just downloaded it and I'm finally going to make him see the greatest movie ever. I'm very excited. He didn't hate it. That's all I can ask for. Okay, so I'm done vlogging today, I guess. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.